Hello rail fans and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today we're going to be building another freight car here and we're going to be building the Southern Pacific Old Fashioned Open Air Livestock Car or Stock Car as they were known. And you can see it has all these empty gaps with wooden slats all over the side as railroads used to use these to haul large amounts of livestock. But they're pretty much no longer in use in the U.S. anymore as the consolidation of the meat market and competition with trucking kind of priced them out of the market and trains really don't haul large amounts of animals anymore. But I thought it would be something cool and different and I don't think I've seen one of these types of cars built before so I wanted to do one. So this is what it looks like here and let's get right into our build now. So as usual, we'll start off with the coupler, so take a dark oak stair and attach that up on the second layer, under it a sideways dark oak vent skate. Then on the next block forward on the bottom, we're going to put a netherite wheel on each rail with an end rod axle. In front of that, we're going to go three wide of upside down dark oak stairs in a back-to-back T-shaped -back pattern. In front of that, another set of netherite wheels and an end rod axle. Then we're going to put a hopper on the side of all four netherite wheels and then we're going to open two spruce fence gates on the center of each side of this truck. Then we're going to crouch and put a wither skeleton skull on the side of each hopper. And we will repeat on the other side a wither skeleton skull on each hopper over here. Then we're going to come in front of this and we need to be on the bottom center right in front of it on the upper hip box. And we're going to do a line of mangrove top slabs down the middle and that's gonna be 17 blocks long in total, one seven. Then right in front of this, we'll put another right wheel on each rail again with an end rod axle. Then again, we'll go three wide with dark oak stairs and an upside down back to back T-shape pattern. Then in front of this, another right wheel on each rail and an end rod axle. Then same as before, go through, put a hopper on all four wheels. Then open two spruce fence gates on the center, two here. Then we're going to crouch and we're going to put a wither skeleton skull on each hopper. And then repeat on this side, one on each hopper over here. Now we'll take out red terracotta and come on top of this end where this coupler is. And we're going to come right down the middle on the second layer with red terracotta. And we'll stop above these end wheels, then take a dark oak stair for the coupler this end. Turn around and stack it up on the second block and put a sideways dark oak vent skate underneath it. Then on this top outer edge starting on the end we're going to do two rows of six mangrove slabs coming in from the end like this on the upper hitbox. Then same thing up here on this side two rows of six and then we're going to repeat at the other end. So start at this end two rows of six slabs on the upper hitbox. One more corner to go, two rows of six on this corner as well. Then coming off the red terracotta, a full line of mangrove slabs across here. Come on this side and a full line of mangrove slabs across here. Then on this outer gap on the upper hip box, we'll do a full line of mangrove trap doors across here. Then repeat over here, same thing, a full line of mangrove trap doors on top across here. Then on one side, we're going to come underneath here and we're going to come down here off this wheel and we're going to put three sideways chains, then a grindstone right here, then another chain, then three grindstones. And then finally, we'll start from this wheel and we'll just come all the way across here with a row of horizontal chains over to these grindstones, just like that. Now come on top of the end here, and we're going to do a 5 by 4 of mangrove stairs, all facing this way. So 5 wide and 4 tall. Then we'll repeat on the other end, so come to this end, same thing. And a 5 by 4 of mangrove stairs facing this way on this end. Then we're going to come down right above the coupler here, and we're going to put three mangrove trap doors right here in the middle. Then above that in the center, close a column of three trap doors. Then to the right of it on this side, do a column of iron bars coming up one block above the stairs. 
and put a jungle trapdoor on top for the brake wheel because they were on top on these old ones. Then come down on this corner, do a column of three crimson pen skates here, and three on this corner. Then on the other side it comes all the way up, so right here, the column of crimson pen skates all the way to the top, and on this side, a column of crimson pen skates to the top. Then we repeat on this end, except no brake wheel on this end, so we'll come down here, three crimson pen skates here, three here. Then we're going to put three mangrove trap doors above the coupler and close a column of three coming up the center. Then on this side, a bull column of crimson fence gates right here, up to the top. And then same thing, a bull column on this side, up to the top. Now we'll put in the structural framework. So take red terracotta, put one on this top corner here. And we're basically going to come diagonally down and over one block each time like this till it's at the bottom. So it looks like that. Then we'll repeat over here. So same thing, just a diagonal of single blocks like this. And then of course we have to do it at the other end. So we'll come up here on top, and same thing. We'll come diagonally over and down each time with one red terracotta. And then same thing on this side, a diagonal of red terracotta across here. Then we're going to come right in front of this and do a column of four red terracotta here and here. Repeat on this end, so a column of four red terracotta here and here. Then in front of that we're going to start on the bottom and now we're going to come diagonally up and over by four. Just like that. Same thing on this side, start on bottom, come diagonally up and over by four. And of course, repeat on this side, do the same thing here, except going this way this time. And then the same thing here. Then we need a vertical column here. Except I screwed that one up, it should be moved over one. So like on this one, we're gonna come over one here and then down to the bottom. Same thing, over one here, down to the bottom over one here down to the bottom. Then we'll take mangrove stairs in this middle gap, put four inward facing stairs here, four going this way here, and four going outward in the middle. Then here's where I realized that mistake, because this door was too wide. So this wasn't correct, so I had to remove these stairs here, and then these three blocks down here were not right. I had to move this column of four red terracotta over by one, so the door is only three blocks wide on this side. Sorry about that. And then again, we'll put inward facing mangrove stairs here in a column of four, outward facing stairs in the center. Then on either side of these stairs here, we're going to do a column of four iron bars here and then four here. Then we're gonna close a mangrove trapdoor on bottom and a crimson fence gate above it. Repeat for this side. So we'll do four iron bars here, four here, close a mangrove trapdoor on bottom and a crimson fence gate above it. And now comes the tedious part, but this effect is gonna be worth it. Basically anywhere on the side of the car there is an air gap, we're gonna put sideways hanging mangrove signs so that we get that open slatted look. And we have to do that everywhere there's a gap. You could also just put sideways slabs if you don't have the hanging dark the hanging signs for some reason but the hanging signs really do look more realistic. And then of course we have to repeat it on this side of the car. That same process, everywhere there's an open block of space on the side. We're just coming through, putting sideways, hanging mangrove signs here. And of course, same thing in all these gaps, a sideways sign on all of these here 
said this is really tedious, but the effect is worth it. Because it also makes these diagonal support braces stick out like they're supposed to. So it should all look like this when you're done. And then of course we have to do the whole process again on the other side of the car. Then once we've finally done all that, it should look like this, and we'll go on to detailing. So we're going to come into a loom with a red banner and white dye. And we're going to put a horizontal on the top and the bottom, and this will represent the lettering. So we're going to come on this side up here, crouch, and where this middle beam is, we're going to put three of these banners on top, like this. Then, under the middle of these banners here, we're going to put a dark oak sign here and here, and a birch button here. And then of course we're going to repeat on this side, so come on this left hand side where this middle beam is. And again we'll crouch, put three of these banners up here. Then underneath down here we'll put two dark oak signs here. And a birch button here. Then on bottom we're going to put two birch buttons on either side of the door. Then right here, a column of three. Then a birch sign here. Then a dark oak sign up in this corner. Then we'll repeat on this side, so come over here bottom on either side of the door, two birch buttons, then a column of three here, a birch sign here, and finally a dark oak sign up in this corner. Now we'll come up top in between here, and on the same level as the height of this, we're going to fill this whole middle three wide with mangrove slabs across the top for the roof, and we're going to bring that all the way down to the other end. And you can, of course, spawn some cows, pigs, or sheep in here, as this is a livestock car. I just didn't do it, as this world is getting big and I want to limit entities in it. Then once all that's done, on this side of the roof, we're going to put three mangrove slabs here, and then come right down the middle to the other end. Then on this end, two slabs going this way here. Then we're going to skip a block over, and we'll have to crouch because of the hanging signs. Basically, we're going to come down this roof, and every other block on the side, we're going to put two mangrove trap doors. And we're just going to keep that coming all the way down to the other end. And two right here, right on the end. Then we'll do the same thing on this side, so skip a block over and repeat that same process while crouching. Every other block, we're going to put two mangrove trap doors coming down the top. got down to this end and calculated everything correctly, it should line up with the very end right here. Then we're going to stay crouched, and in all these gaps between the trapdoors, we're going to come back through and put two red carpets on all of them. Right down to this end. we'll do the same thing on this side stay crouched and come all the way down this side and put two red carpets in all of these gaps between the trap doors down to the other end here and now our roof dealing detail is all complete so there we have it folks we've completed our old southern pacific open air livestock car. I hope everyone enjoyed this unique build here. Like I said, you can spawn animals inside of it if you want. I'm just trying to save memory as this world is so big. So I hope you enjoyed the build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a great week. Stay safe out there, rail fans.